Of course, first map we get, we get Overgrown. All right, so I'm back from TwitchCon. Uh, if you didn't notice, I was wearing like the same two shirts the past like four videos. I was at TwitchCon, I didn't do anything like crazy or over the top. I didn't even really let anybody really know where the fuck I even was. I just kind of showed up there and then just like took pictures and talked with whoever came up to me and shit. Usually I think that whenever I go to TwitchCon, I didn't think I would be recognized as much as I actually was. Literally going to a convention filled with a bunch of people that are on a completely different platform from. Giving it to all gamers and shit, so I mean, I get fuck is this chopper doing? So I went to TwitchCon. It was in San Diego. San Diego is nice as fuck. Also, I would be playing uh, Call of Duty Mobile right now. I would be making a video on it, but apparently it's down at the moment. I really don't want to play it on my phone. Like, it would be so fucking bad. And the videos that I see coming out from people, no offense, but holy fuck. Like, just the way that the game looks and them trying to control their character and their characters, like, fucking looking up into the sky and shit. Dumping, like, 26 of their 30 bullets into just random air and then the final four finally hit somebody. So I tried to be able to uh, download it on PC and be able to play it that way so at least we can have like a higher recording quality, the higher FPS, uh, better controls and shit like that, but it's still just completely down anyway, so. At least at the time that I'm recording this anyway, they're having issues. It just gets stuck at uh, updating game or some shit at the login screen. It just sits there on that animated shit. If I had slapped out a six on or some shit, I would have ended the video right there. I'm done! I, I would have been so upset that I didn't hit that for Forever 3. So yeah, that was the plan today. Uh, I was gonna do COD Mobile, but then it's down. So, over the time that I was there at TwitchCon, it was super cool. I ended up meeting up with a bunch of people and other shit like that. But the house that I stayed at was, like, fucking weird. Like, okay, I, I don't know how to explain it. It was nice, but it was weird. I'm kind of weird when it comes to larger houses, like, because I had, like, a whole group of people with me, so we needed to get a house big enough for all the people. And this house that we ended up staying in was on like a fucking mountain like literally so any food that we ordered up there there was like a like a gate and shit that opens and closes and stuff for the people that have to come through they need to know like the gate password number thing i've had multiple drivers end up like driving past this driveway because the driveway is like a hidden driveway with a gate and shit well, this guy's level 1000 uh, that 1k looks so clean you would think being in a big house on a mountain would feel safe, but no. So here's the bad thing. My first impression of the house when I got there, it was dark outside. And there's all these like old black and white pictures on this really long hallway. I don't know how else to explain the house, except that it was shaped like an L. It was like a super long hallways with a whole bunch of like rooms and shit. Big open living room. There's like a backyard. They had like a fucking chicken coop or some shit like that. There was like chickens walking around outside. That was weird. Baby photos and uh, old marriages and shit like that. And I can't even tell how old the house is. It looks like multiple couples from like the fucking 1600s or some shit. It was weird shit. Me living in New Jersey, I'm not used to elevation and shit. So every single time you went up and down the mountain, my ears were popping. Wasn't used to the amount of wind and how like everything just felt up there. So I'm hearing weird noises and shit. I'm hearing the chickens walk around outside. It was fun, but it was creepy. At nighttime in particular. Other times, not so bad. There were a couple times where I was like signing stuff for people and then I kind of got in trouble by security and shit. Because if you're going to be taking pictures with people and walking around and shit, they want you to have a booth and all this other shit. So all the other people that were actual streamers had their own booths and shit like that, so no, I don't need a booth or anything like that. It's not my fucking platform. That just, it doesn't make sense to me. I, that to me is just weird. Wouldn't make any sense for me to have a booth. It was, that's just weird. Should have expected it. I mean, it's the same thing that happened fucking last time. That's gun. <laughs> you just throw a grenade in a random direction and it'll kill somebody on COD 4. That's just how this shit goes. Grenade! It's right in his lap. Yeah, keep on tossing that frags times three, dipshit. Admittedly, though, I didn't stay at the event that long for all of the days or anything. I went there every single day, but I didn't stay, like, the entire time or go there right in the morning. There were a couple times where I showed up for, like, you know, two hours. Other times where I was there for, like, three or four or something like that. But really, it was just about, like, with the hanging out with people, meeting up with people, all this other shit. Just trying to have a good time. Now, as I was there and as I was uploading videos, by the way, thank you guys for all the love and support on those videos while I was gone. A lot of people didn't even know I was gone, so, I mean, there's that. It's kind of what I aim for. I kind of want it to be like this seamless thing. I know I ended up missing an upload yesterday. I apologize again. Every single time I miss an upload, I want to... You don't understand. I has to be possible to knock yourself out. It has to. It's had so much bullshit, especially since the house, the, the whole accident with the toilet and everything. It's been such a nightmare. So, uh, TikTok. Before, I made a video saying that I have become a meme on TikTok or some shit like that. I'm a TikTok meme. I can't remember. TikTok is back at it again. They found a nice little, uh, sound bite of mine. It's from one of my really old videos. They circulate these things all the fucking time. Oh, it's the I can't compete sound bite. It's from, like, I think a Modern Warfare 3 video or some shit like that where I was just getting absolutely 
absolutely shit on by people, and all I did was scream that I can't compete, I cannot fucking compete. So random, I feel like they can just take anything that they want and turn it into a TikTok at this point. They can take this sound bite right here, and somehow manage to turn it into a fucking TikTok. Here, we got some of them right here. I can't fucking compete! I just can't fucking compete! I, th I can't fucking compete! I just can't fucking compete! Can you get the fuck out of my f- That's a 50 caliber bullet! That's a bullet being fired out of a fucking rifle that's bigger than your dick! How do you live? That's when I was a very angry, sad little man. It wasn't very long ago, but yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have much to say. It's just kind of awkward. Now, given I kind of cringe every single time, like, okay, for example, there have been times where people have watched my videos on a stream that I was like a mod for, like Tim or Trick or somebody. And when they play it, I immediately just leave the fucking chat. I, I don't want to watch people watch me. It just, I can't watch people react to me. I just, I can't fucking do it. I hate hearing myself in the backgrounds of people's microphones and shit like that, too. I hear my Myself all day and sure maybe to some degree I like hearing myself talk because I mean shit I make videos right but to hear people hear me or to see people see me it's one thing to put it up there on the internet and then just see how people react to it later when I'm ready but as far as a live reaction to some shit no I, I can't I can't do it I just my heart I cannot do it I overthink everything because for me I'm just making videos of just me you know doing and saying shit people just laugh at me I don't know if these jokes are good or not half the time I can't even tell if they are jokes I mean shit just looking at this tiktok people are like oh yeah that's a really funny sound clip man it's a funny joke it's, it's not even really a joke it's just me having a mental fucking breakdown if you want to be believable okay even though you're clearly going over a sound bite all i'm saying is if i've sat there and reiterated some sort of uh some sort of notorious rage or some shit like that i would probably put a little bit more soul into it i, th I can't fucking compete i just can't fucking compete can you get the fuck out of my you guys gotta work on your facial expressions or some shit. You gotta learn how to put your heart and soul into the yells. I can't compete! I can't fucking compete! Obviously, that's just forcing myself. Most of the time, you can tell when it's just very forced. Or you can be like other people that think everything is fucking forced, and for whatever reason, they think that I just want to sit here and make my blood pressure go up each and every single day, but you know. Yeah, so I will be making that COD Mobile video, uh, although I think I'm probably gonna play it on PC or some shit. I ended up downloading that, uh, game loop or whatever the fuck it's called to be able to play it on there. I'm not about to play this shit on mobile. I have the first pixel, okay? This thing dies if I want to sit there and watch a video for maybe a couple hours or some shit. There is no way this thing is gonna survive a recording process. It's just not gonna happen. Obviously, I can plug it into a charger during that time, but literally this thing, the battery dies so quickly at this point because it's older, that it will literally die as it's charging. So I'm trying to play it on PC so I can record it in like, you know, a higher quality and shit, but I don't know, let me know how you guys want me to do it. They're probably gonna want me to play it on mobile just so it looks as lethal as fucking possible. But yeah, to all the people that I ended up meeting at TwitchCon, it was nice meeting you. Thank you guys for coming up to me, making me feel uh, important, I guess, and uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later.